Debbie Silver, The Mojo Coach. Well, today we're in my gym where some of my private VIP clients train. And, you know, this question always comes up, so I just wanted to address it today. I get asked this a lot. How do I know if my workout is working? Well, first of all, you're going to know because you're going to see results. If you don't see results, good chance it's not working for you. So how can you make sure you get results? Well, there are two tests that you can run yourself through, and this is really easy. One is called the talk test. So let's say you're running or you're jogging. The way it works is like this. If you can only answer in one word answers, chances are it's way too hard. If you can uh, speak like I'm speaking now, if someone were to speak and you can give an answer just like how I'm speaking now, way too easy. If you can speak in short sentences, then you know you're in the right place. The other uh, way to tell, the other test is called the RPE, or Rate of Perceived Exertion. The way that works is, if you were to rate your exertion on a scale of 0 to 10, 0 being I'm sleeping, and 10 being take me to the hospital, I can't take it. You want your exertion to be like a level 7 or an 8. Uh, now, it could be like that, uh, you can you can be, let's say, at a, at a 6, or so, and then throw in intervals or sprints of some kind to really get it, get that uh, your heart rate up to a level or a rate of a perceived exertion of let's say a level of an eight or a nine, and then bring it back down. But uh, you know you want to stay in those in those upper upper ranges. You can use a heart rate monitor too, and that'll tell you where your you know your heart rate is is at. Now, so many different types of workouts that you can do. All the different components would be, let's say, something incorporating flexibility, where you're stretching your muscles and preventing against muscle soreness, and the muscles will will be more warmed up and uh, work better for you. Then there's resistance training, and that could be using your own body weight as resistance. It could be weights, it could be a universal gym, it could be bands, it could be plyometric movements where you're using just uh, power to, uh, you know, to, to really use the muscles. Or, and then there's also aerobic cardio, which is when you're using like a treadmill or a uh, stairmaster or an elliptical, a bike, something like that. If you incorporate it into, let's say, a boot camp or a, uh, um, some sort of interval training program, that's going to have tremendous effects. So, so many different types of workouts you can do, and we can get to that in some other videos. But for now, just know that if you're, if you're not feeling the effects, if there's no sort of reminder uh, of muscle soreness or muscle awareness 24 to 48 hours later on, or you're just not seeing it, then it's time to shake up your program a little bit. Sound good? Thanks so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.